All right, guys, Josh Thackeray reporting for Spurred On at the Lane. This is my post-match analysis. 4-1, absolutely fantastic scoreline. Exactly what we needed after the Leicester loss. We were clinical today. We were penetrating in the final third. Ericsson scored an absolute beauty. He scored the first goal, Dembele, second goal, Ericsson, and then we finished off with a Kane penalty. Talking points of the match, Rose, Trippier in for Walker and Davis. Have a look at all the, the post fan cams. There's been a mixed reaction on, on who's better. I thought Trippier did a fine job. You know, he was tracking back. He did a pretty neat job. And I thought Danny Rose obviously won us a penalty as well. He didn't make any silly mistakes today, Danny Rose, which is good to see. I feel that's a weakness in his game. Dembele um, in for Carroll. I mean, that was a natural decision. I think all the feedback that we've seen so far shows Dembele's got that ability to, you know, carry the ball around, get the game going. He, he'll beat two men and he'll just give us that further penetration into the final third. Now, first half was quite balanced. Sunderland went ahead completely against the run of play. We did have a couple of chances beforehand. We had Ericsson, we had Lamella, but Sunderland did go ahead. Uh, heads could have dropped. Uh, the team was, was obviously frustrated from the, the, the score with Sunderland going ahead. But it was good to see a reaction within a few minutes. We came back and we scored a goal. Ericsson, it was, it was a scruffy goal, but we'll take anything we can get. We're back in the game. We did have quite a bit of momentum going into half time. The boys came out ready for the second half. I think there was a lot of anger there from the first goal going in. It was 1-1 and it was a case of then, can we get the second goal? Absolute beauty. It was a, a, a fine move and, and Dembele finished off. I think it was his left peg into the corner. So that got us ahead 2-1. Then there was questions about can we see the game through? Can we kill the game off? We've been in situations where we've taken the lead but we've not been able to kill the game off and we did. Ericsson for me, two goals. There's talk about his favourite position. Personally, I would say he needs to be more dynamic in his play. And I might not be happy about starting out wide, but I think the team needs to have the ability to, to be more dynamic. So if he does cut in and he does go in the middle, then obviously someone covers him and there needs to be more of that synergy. But I think today showed, you know, it was poor opposition. It wasn't the strongest team that we were playing against. One of the worst away league records Sunderland have. So there was going to be goals in this game, but it's whether we could take our chances. And I think with Ericsson, if you can be a little bit more less predictable and take more responsibility and ownership of going into the centre and whilst he's doing that, another player coming out wide, so whether it's Ali or Lamello, whoever it is. So I'd love to see more dy dynamic play within that forward three and, you know, putting less pressure on Kane. Today, one feature of the, the game was that our midfield players did bomb on a bit more. There was more penetration. There wasn't just that ball up to Kane every time. So Kane did have less to do. I thought defenders, the flanks were fantastic. Rose has been mentioned. Trip has been mentioned. So a very professional performance, very clinical, lots of possession. But like I said, the key word being penetration and whether we can take that possession into on-target shots and clear chances. So that's my match analysis, guys. We've got uh, next game coming up, which is Crystal Palace away and Watford at home. I expect six points. Let me know what you guys think at the bottom with your comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thank you.